In this video, I'll talk about what are uh, Bayesian models. Bayesian models are derived from a different branch of statistic. It's known as Bayesian statistic. Most of the models that we come across are actually uh, from the frequentist uh, kind of statistics. But Bayesian models are different. It, it's a field of statistic in which the true state of the world is expressed in terms of degree of belief. So there is a subjectivity that is involved in terms of finding out the probability than uh, finding uh, a probability objectively. And we see what's the difference by taking an example. So let us take an example. Uh, let's say that you want to bet on a uh, on the winning team in a cricket match that is going to happen between uh, india and pakistan there uh, have been 20 encounters so far india has won 13 times um, and then seven times have been won by pakistan and you want to bet that who is going to uh, win in tomorrow's match so clearly one will uh, bet on India because uh, out of 20 encounters uh, between the two teams, 13 times uh, have been won by India. So naturally one will go for uh, India's win. So the probability is 13 by 20 which is 0.65 uh, which is higher than 0.35. Well, let us add another information now. So out of the overall 20 games, uh, 10 have been played in India, out of which 6 games have been won by Pakistan. So 10 games have been played in India and another 10 games have been played in Pakistan. And uh, of all the 10 games played in India, 6 games have been won by Pakistan. And the next game for which we are doing the prediction is being played in Mumbai, India. So. Uh, now let us ignore the fact that you know what is the overall number of wins by Pakistan and India. So ignoring this fact the probability that Pakistan is going to win tomorrow is 0.85 and why is so? Because out of the total 7 wins that Pakistan has 6 of them are in India. So probability that uh, uh, a game will be won by uh, Pakistan uh, given that it's being played in India is 6 by 7. 7 is the total number of wins and 6 is the number of wins in India. So 6 by 7 is 0.85. So now with an additional information you can see the probability that Pakistan is going to win tomorrow has now changed. Earlier it used to be 0.35. Now it has become 0.85. So um, <coughs> But ignoring the first information is not right, right? So how can we best combine two, two information, the overall information and the additional information and come up with uh, uh, a more suitable uh, probability? Now we uh, form a two by two matrix. Uh, in the rows you have um, whether it has Pakistan as won or Pakistan has lost. And then in the columns you have played in India or played in Pakistan. So played in India, Pakistan has won six times. Played in Pakistan, Pakistan has won one time. Pakistan has lost, played in India four times. Pakistan has lost, played in Pakistan is nine times. So we are interested in that played in India and Pakistan has won. So what is the probability of that? Well, the probability that it's played in India and Pakistan has won is 6 by 10. So why is that so? You can see played in India is 10 times and Pakistan has won is 6 times. So the probability is 6 by 10. So now this is a combination of the first information and the second information. The first information was overall wins and second information is about you know the, uh, prob uh, the chances of win for Pakistan given that a, a game is played in India. So it's about the venue information about the venue and also the overall number of wins. So now uh, if somebody wants to bait, he's going to bait on Pakistan instead of India. So what we have realized is that uh, a new information makes a difference to the probability value. 
so uh, probability is in some sense uh, subjective in nature in Bayesian statistics and not in uh, like not objective like the frequency statistic the frequentist will say that the probability that uh, India will win is 13 by 20 and Pakistan is going to win is 7 by 20 and uh, I mean it doesn't make a difference if there is any additional information that comes in so that's the difference between Bayesian and uh, the frequentist one so uh, this is generalized with the Bayesian theorem uh, where it says that uh, probability that A is going to happen given B so A and B are two events probability that A is going to happen given B is equal to probability that B has happened given A multiplied by probability of A divided by probability of B so this is a very famous uh, Bayesian theorems uh, so uh, in the in this case A is event that Pakistan wins B is event that game is played in India so uh, probability of A by B is probability that Pakistan has won given that played is India so that's 0.85 into 0.35 which is completely unconditional divided by 0.5 so um, uh, 0.5 because uh, you know 10 number of games have been played in India and 10 number of games have been played in uh, Pakistan so probability that as game is played in India is 50% right equal number of games in both the countries so that's 0.5 you put it in the formula and you will get exactly the same answer that we have seen in the last slide so what is Bayesian statistics see the probabilities doesn't uh, you know depend on the counts uh, the we, we actually uh, find the conditional probability than the unconditional one in this case and the conditional probability changes with new information you keep on adding new information and the probability value will change but in frequency statistic, probability is a fixed quantity that depends only on the count. <clears throat> Some more features, it, uh, the Bayesian analysis treat parameters at random values, uh, random variables. Uh, while estimating parameters, the analysts begin with some prior probability distribution of the parameters. Uh, and then, uh, so this is the belief or this is some sort of a subjective probability. And you can, uh, you know, you can uh, use your experience with what kind of distribution the parameters will take. So parameters are not uh, fixed anymore. After learning information from observed data, you change or update your belief about the unknown parameters and obtain, obtain posterior distribution. So you start with some uh, prior distribution of the parameters and you update your distribution, uh, update your uh, uh, parameter distribution with the given data. And the inferences are made from the uh, posterior distribution. Uh, so the estimation process starts with this we choose a prior distribution of beta parameters so if beta is the slope coefficient or the uh, um, intercept in a regression model then we select a model density uh, which is uh, you know uh, the density given theta so theta is already assumed with some values and with that assumed value what is the uh, value that x will take so that is simulated uh, and then we formulate the likelihood function, combine information from the observed data and then uh, we compute the posterior distribution that given x, so it becomes entirely opposite now, given x what is going to be my theta value. So this is the way uh, we update the uh, prior belief. So uh, in more mathematical form, this is the uh, Bayesian analysis picture wherein we try to find out the probability that given x what is the value uh, that theta x theta is the uh, matrix for parameters which is nothing but the uh, um, the prior distribution prior density for theta which is pi of theta multiplied to a density that given theta whatever theta we uh, whatever distribution we assume for theta what is the values uh, for x so the, the values of x are not from actual data okay and divided by the marginal density of x so this is where the actual data comes marginal density of x uh, so using this formula we compute theta values so what are the basic differences between uh, Bayesian analysis and frequentist analysis uh, in Bayesian analysis probability describes degree of belief not limited frequency whereas in frequentist analysis 
probabilities are objective properties of the real world. In Bayesian analysis, parameters cannot be determined exactly. They are random variables. So parameters can change with time with new information. Whereas in frequentist analysis, parameters theta are fixed and unknown constants. In Bayesian analysis, inferences about theta are based on the probability distribution of the parameters. Whereas in frequentist analysis, a well-defined long-run frequency property such as a confidence interval is, uh, you know, created in order to understand the frequency, uh, the properties of the parameters.